we get this way? We come from picket fenced homes with our perfect families. We come from rundown trailers littered with broken bottles and shell cases. We even come from Scottsdale mansions and private boats, yet we are all bearing the same weight upon our shoulders like Sisyphus running up boulders for all eternity, with each step deeper into smolder and ash burning our feet like the black tar of Arizona streets in July. Addiction. Addiction is our weight and it lingers in our souls like cigarette taste lingers in your mouth after a puff puff and another puff like it was oxygen or the pills we took like medicine healing our broken hearts. And the white lines were our holy path to heaven until we came crashing back down just to make our way back to the liquor cabinet where we drank from bottles and called it ambrosia because we had to have been gods feeling as invincible as we did. Immortalizing our very being with prescription pills, liquor, and smoke, but the ones that surround you don't notice because they're just happy to see a smile on your dull face for the first time in forever. And still refuse to listen because their clear vision is better than our drunken hazy blur of sight we mask our depression with. Someone once told me that an addict is like a magician the way we can convince our brain to convince our body that these drugs are not killing us. And magicians we are the way we throw veils over your clear vision and tell you that we're fine. You see, I've tried throwing these weights off my back time and time again, but I cannot sleep without the blissful lullaby of substance spinning in my head like a broken record. But as time goes on, the lullaby embeds itself in our brain, setting into the deepest crevices of our fried minds. I once believed myself to be clean, but again the pills were given to me for nothing other than the simple form of payment. A payment that was a match into a dry lumber yard about to start a fire, and a fire it did start, and I tried so hard to put this fire out, but I only found myself using alcohol to douse the flames, only making them bigger. I claim I want to be independent, but I find myself in a revolving door of dependence on substances I can get my hands on. I want to be sober so bad that it eats away at my thoughts, just as a cigarette eats away at my life each day. I carry this weight, and it gets heavier and heavier, just as the question gets farther and farther, how did I get this way? Thank you.